Buenas noches a todos. Welcome back to Tom Plays E4 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with Portugal in the aftermath of our first big war in ages. It's left us with zero manpower, so we're going to be recovering from that and possibly rebuilding the navy. So, I'm wondering if we can summon the diet again. We can. Might be a good time. Okay, so nice easy one. Invest in prosperity of lands in Porto, always a good thing. Probably useful for spreading the printing press as well. Nobility are worried about us depleting our manpower. I agree, to be honest. Although we did just do one for the nobles. And the burghers want to tell us where to colonize next. A Surin army. That does give us extra settler chance. So let's just uh, reveal my terrible lack of geographical knowledge and I'm just going to search for them. Surin army. Right, so this is up near Portuguese Brazil. sure how much control we're going to have over this, even though I do like the bonuses. Hmm. But it would mean holding off on doing our 10 province colonial nations. I think on the whole probably best not to, so let's do this one, the nice easy one. So we want base tax, so that's going to need admin power. And it does give us more prestige, which we do need, so it's not bad as a second option. Okay, so Porto. Incidentally, I haven't covered this particularly, so sometimes when you click on areas you get the state. So you have to, to get the actual area, you have to click on the province itself, which is Porto. And by default, it tends to show you the buildings that exist in the area and how many buildings it has room for. So if there's any vacant lots where you can build a building and also what development you would need to add another one. So this is a development. It's just a combination of these three things, which you'll have seen me improving to get uh, the printing press moving along. So there's this icon here, which I've been happily clicking open close institutions which switches the building option to this so actually the printing press is already present in Porto unfortunately so if I just look at the overall view technology show institutions yeah Porto already has it to be fair it's quite well developed already but never mind so it hasn't helped with the printing press but uh, not to worry let's do it anyway so we'll just put Two lots of having power in, instant, temperance prestige, clergy are more loyal, everyone's happy. All sorted, nice and easy. So that's another problem. Right. So I want to look at our military. So we've got room for some more troops, which we'll probably do in the Pacific for now for colonization. And we've got room for far too many naval forces. However, I would rather use any spare money we have to embrace the printing press. This is slowly going to start coming down as our money hopefully goes up. Well, it's not going up very fast, but the new merchant from Panama will hopefully help with that once they've finished building it, which is good. So great, what should we do next? I think the biggest thing is probably going to be exploration because we need to recover our manpower and I'd like to give the colonial nations a chance to recover. I do want to... Oh, that's fine. I do want to start improving my relationship with the colonial nations. So we've got two diplomats free. So let's just do improve relations. Portuguese Brazil, Brazil improve relations. Portuguese Colombia. 
it's not a big problem I don't think we want to do that one because that will become a colonial nation hmm yep not much chance there 19 years old and 20 years old so yeah what I think I'm gonna have to do is fire one of my military leaders so we'll keep the conquistador because we're going to need them for exploration so we're going to detach this leader and then we're going to give them the boot a little picture of a boot burgers causing issues okay who has the highest loyalty I think is what this is going to come down to the nobles already have high loyalty probably because we took Marrakesh so let's go with the burgers much as though I do tend to think administrative power is more important most of the time but same time I'd rather keep everyone loyal okay so this fleet here I now need a new leader who's going to be an explorer and here's the plan we need to start well exploring increase the speed note the manpower is now recovering slightly which is good conversion excellent getting close to having a papal blessing and we've lost so just after I'd fired the general, <laughs> the conquistador goes and dies. That's just typical. Never mind, we probably need a conquistador anyway, rather than a general. And there it is. Bonnie has become self-sufficient. So I think we may even need a conquistador now. Uh, right, so Bonnie, we do want to make it to a core. Need to remember about those ships over there. Right, so first things first, let's get... So if you remember, we're going to head out east. So let's get these guys as far east as we can before we worry too much about... colonization. Although we do need to worry a bit about it, to be fair. Maybe I should even start making a colony, just in case. This is uncolonized land, no natives. Let's send a colonist. That's just perfect. Supplies in one of our colonies, Caribus. I think we've already taxed them. It's all right, so we don't need the army for this one, which is great. But maybe if we do give them a conquistador, we can... Start exploring some of the areas. Okay. Some of the islands and such like. I need to watch this. I might even send them back after this one. Seems ridiculous, but I've lost so many ships. <laughs> and these ones are fairly modern, which probably means they're less likely to be damaged, but nonetheless, so how we're we looking. Yep, still a fair bit of space between us. I just remembered that, of course, we do have a closer area to the east. That's fine. Yeah, so this one we'd uncovered somehow. That's fine. There's a bunch of these terra incognita. So like this island and possibly that island will be good places to send a conquistador to. We need to put that on hold. While we do we need to put it on hold? Hmm. Yeah, I see England is merrily taking over Florida. 
That wasn't what I wanted, but never mind. Right, we're going to recruit a conquistador. And I do want to just explore a little. While the colonist makes his merry way over here. to make a state which is fine but we don't want to call the province it's not a big problem so yeah I mean we probably will fill in these lands automatically anyway but I just like to have them as options I've also suspect I'll spread along the coast and leave the inland for the actual colonial nation to do once it exists Philosopher. This is the one we kept out of jail as well. Okay, 11.44 per month. So I think we can certainly afford a plus two, but probably not a plus three. It's fine. So there are no plus twos, so let's go with a philosopher again. Yearly prestige. Because keeping prestige high is very difficult. Of, we have a blessing from the Pope. So let's go with Prestige. Okay, brilliant. Right, so they can stay there, they'll be fine. They will look after the colony. Some kind of war going on here. It's nice that we weren't dragged into it. Right, so, let's give this army the Conquistador, let's give this navy the Explorer. Let's load this army onto this navy, and I'm going to head towards India. I think this area might be occupied but we'll see. If it is, I may uncover this island instead. I think I did mention once before that I don't tend to do islands, so this is kind of a new experience for me. But I think if we're ever going to do islands, Portugal is the one to do it with. So once we actually get our navy properly sorted, once we've got the finances running in and uh, printing presses embraced and we've built a bunch of manufactories and so on, then uh, we'll hopefully have a massive navy to be reckoned with. And we won't have too much trouble keeping all our islands under control. Right, so I want to set, send conquistadors to this island. So it would appear that this one already has a country but we might be able to go from this one and start conquering that one I've always had terrible problems in this part of the world because you generally need to fabricate a claim in order to conquer someone and because I don't tend to colonize islands I have trouble getting close enough to fabricate one I right, might as well take these guys straight off the island again there are no natives here as well. So again, we don't need an army. Nice. Okay, so let's be reasonably cautious. And we've taken almost no damage yet. But I think as soon as we get anything significant, we should head back. Carbu have insulted us. Are they not the people that we've been trying to cozy up to? Way to insult your allies, guys. Uh, no, no. We're down to 81%. Let's head back. So head back to port. And let's have a look at Carbu. Yep, they are indeed the people I've been trying to cozy up to. Right, so, we've still got quite a few improved relations. Have a claim. That's a new one.
Hmm. Got a Regency Council, so we can't actually declare wars anyway. Plus we have an alliance with them. Why are they insulting us when we have an alliance? Is it because they've got a claim on our lands? Rest issue over borders, right? I think this is something they've done basically. They had some kind of issue where they had some sort of claim on this land and they decided to press it. So they've reduced our their opinion of us, our opinion of them. Fair enough, it's not ideal. Maybe the alliance will break. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh! It looks like Portuguese Colombia has reached 10 provinces. So we now have a new available merchant. So usual drill, go to the trade screen. But to be honest, I'm probably going to just go with its recommendations. So here's our trade post. So the next one up is Panama, which I have to say does make sense. Even though there's only one way it can go, we're just making sure we're pulling more trade out of there. I think it still makes a difference to the money. So we're Pretty much always um, transfer trade power, yeah. not collect from trade. So I'm going to send him across and I'm going to watch the money. I think that's probably just the insult. Yeah, can't do anything about it anyway. We don't have a king. We have an alliance. We're really not in a position to attack them. Collect benefits over time. Couldn't agree more. No option anyway. So 950. Now money does fluctuate a lot. I think it's to do with being a trading nation. Because it depends on trade rather than taxes. So we should get a little tick here. At some point. And then hopefully our money will go up. But to be honest I'm going to struggle to tell. Because it fluctuates so much at the moment. There we go doesn't go much but it does go up. but that will help get us closer to all of our goals because we do need money I do want to build buildings in all the original Portuguese provinces it should be quite highly developed now then you are damaged and healing so maybe we should switch to the other navy use our you know teleporter as you know definitely have and send our explorer to this navy instantly and just do a bit more exploration I do want to see how far we can get or at least try to discover Hawaii so we can colonize them That should give us a, uh, a pretty good staging area for colonising the Australias. At the same time, I'm a little reluctant to go any further. Sort of fill in the areas around. Depends whether this suddenly drops to 80%. Eight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not risking it. I might start just filling in the surrounding lands a bit. actually is. I usually think of it as being kind of Central Pacific, so probably somewhere around there. Ah, not to worry, could we actually send the colonist over here now? Colonial range? No, it's too far away still. It's fine, we need to work our way towards it, but I believe that this is Australia. This is West Papua. So, Papu the Papuan Islands stay ours. They don't become a colonial nation. 
which is why I want to start Australia first. But I do want to get those as well because we've got a lot of interest in our mission tree around here, I believe. But of course we're kind of closing in on it from both directions, so hopefully we should be fine. I'll start truce with Tunis. She's absolutely fine, no problem there at all. I'm just wondering about maybe Panama doing a, a war? Oh, Regency Council, we can't start a war. Right, fine, no wars, so let's improve relations with Caribus, which I think is our only other colonial nation now. We still only have a three, amazingly, but that's because we spent so much um, efforts colonizing Africa. Okay, how are our ships looking? 100%, brilliant. You get an explorer back. I don't know if we actually need any conquistadors right now. I do not think that we do. So, let us start filling in the Indian Ocean. Just want to know what we're dealing with. But yeah, I don't think we actually have any land to uncover this time, so I'm leaving the conquistadors behind. Well, actually, we can probably move to the new colony, which will be further east. Lost that diplomatic insult, and that is fine. I can live with that. Florida Blanca is way more aggressive than the other provinces. Good for them, I suppose. <laughs> so there's a problem with this game. Very, very hard not to sympathise with the uh, the native uprisings. Okay, and that's brilliant. I'm very happy about that. I'm also very anxious that I need to get this ship home before I go and look at that colony, even though it's probably going to be a straight to just pick another province next door and send them over to it. Here we go, we're uncovering bits of India. Right, so a little debatable actually as to which island would be best, so let's go back to this one. I'm just thinking because we are, we can follow the coast a little and we are sort of heading north at the moment. So I don't think it's quite as clear as which one's furthest east. Okay, Spanish La Plata is uh, happily making waves. Well, that's great. I'm very concerned about being cut off here. But let's fill in the tip anyway, and, and then we'll start making our way north. That's fine. That is fine. Right. On the plus side, having the Regency Council does mean everyone gets time to recover from the war, which is good. Are we anywhere near to calling another diet? We are not. 1579. Right. That's fine. build any buildings because we want to embrace the printing press soon as we can right I am going to apparently do nothing because I haven't given myself an explorer oh great game one stability back up to plus three so I'm going to explore the coast a bit, because we are going, probably will try and do a North American nation, at least one more. Depends how advanced Spain's got, because I think there should be, there's one for California, but there's also one for Alaska. 
but it's whether we could get 10 provinces in both. I just thought that a colonial nation isn't worth having if we can't get 10 provinces, but because our big business here is trade, uh, that's fine. I'm not concerned about how fast ships get built, really. Because trade is like our big thing, like, the more merchants we can get, the better. I feel like they have insulted us. Well, isn't that interesting? I don't want to look at that, but of course we do need our king to come of age. It's fine. So we're not taking as much damage here because we're following the coast. Probably about to stop doing that. But we can see already there's this section here, which I don't really know the name of. I'm sure any Californians would do. But that's still open for colonization, so. That is still an option. I think the, the main one we've really lost out on is Louisiana. If we've got any chance of colonizing them. I'm pretty sure our current North American colony is going to count as part of Florida. Okay, cutting this a bit finer than I would like. Let's get back to port. Okay, brilliant. So, what else? Well, we've got some technology on the way, which is fine, but we can't afford to embrace the Renaissance yet. Our heir is age 12, so I'm feeling maybe 14 is the point at which they become the proper monarch. Which is good, because it's far better than the Regency Council. We are suffering a bit from the Regency Council at the moment. Right, we've got enough technology to get a new tech, but really we want to be focusing on embracing the printing press. So the question is, is it worth using some of our diplomatic power to spread the printing press? 49, 74, 96. Now you see that one looks worthwhile simply because it's so high but the fact is I suspect oh good I suspect it will probably spread there anyway so we need 1122 we're gaining fast I don't think we need to worry particularly okay so I think our eastern ships should have recovered now ships Yep, they have, so we'll give them the explorer now. As soon as he arrives home. Okay, he should be available now. Hmm, interesting. I have to actually quit out. This will increase the price of coffee. Oh, brilliant, we must have a source of coffee. We get 20 prestige, that is much needed, and the money is welcome as well. Okay, so we're going to finish discovering India. I'm guessing what's happened is that coffee was one of the trade goods monopolised by the Ottomans, or at least the movement was monopolised by the, Ot the Ottomans. The actual production, I think, was monopolised by Yemen, primarily, even though I think it's grown in Ethiopia. But I think Yemen was the one who kind of first made it into a drink and they were quite protective of it. But I'm guessing we now have a bunch of coffee plantations all over the New World. So that has been very good for us. Our procedures almost matched our legitimacy, only because the legitimacy is going down while the air is uh, not a full monarch. And we don't currently have the appropriate papal blessing, I don't think. Okay. Let's watch this. 
not sure how many options we'll have for colonization up here because we're entering an area of pretty well established kingdoms I see we're getting a little hegemonized in India So this island definitely worth having. Uh, Caribus, no, we'll leave it be. Still a good thing though. I mean, we don't gain much, but we still gain a little bit of random power, and it does come up often enough that um, you know it's not bad as a little boost. I think this may be the last one before we head back. Maybe not. Oh, we've been at the coastline, haven't we? It's not quite as big an issue. All right, well, let's just fill this one in. big drop again so we want to be heading back as soon as we can once this is uncovered so let's just move to that province while I'm working out where to go next there brilliant okay we've got a diplomat back so I might just improve relations with Rome Be on the safe side. I think the Pope's managed to stay alive through the entirety of this. Scotland. Oh, I'm not sure it's actually worth having Scotland anymore. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Unless you've got some huge colony you've been hiding, but it doesn't really look like you do. I see Spain started in Florida as well in a big way. I don't think there's anything here before, and now they've suddenly got three provinces right we're going to be thankfully i think i can get away with heading quite a way north and it will still count as florida i don't really fancy a chance of getting a foothold in canada either we could try but we've probably got a better chance in california on the whole so yeah north america is definitely turning into freeway battle on the plus side if spain's going there quite aggressively it should give us a chance to catch up down here Spanish La Plata may not move quite as fast. So that's good. We might just be able to do an estate again. July. It kind of is July. 20th of July. Right. So we're literally waiting a few days. I do tend to think the estate's uh, quite a positive thing. Don't watch them like a hawk or anything. Okay, the clergy wants us to build a church is fine in Algarve, which I do want to do anyway. They build see France as an ally. Pinion of Portugal is at least 100. Well, that's fine, but all it gives us is loyalty. Whereas the clergy gives us an extra base tax. And what have we got here? Alta California. Oh, now that's interesting. The burghers want us to discover California and we will gain settler benefits. Definitely, let's go for that. That is brilliant. In fact, it's probably what we're going to do next. So, if I just finish randomly scrolling the map I think it's literally just amalgamate these again give them the explorer temporarily pause because we've got a new colony okay I'm gonna be cheeky and I'm gonna go down here because I imagine they're both gonna be trying to get this 
I don't know where England's going to go next. Possibly Bahama Banks, to be fair, which I think is part of the Caribbean. So, mildly frustrated at Caribus for not having claimed that already. But hey, I suppose that's their problem now. If they want to give the Bahamas to uh, Great Britain, they can go ahead. Oh, we've got a new military idea. So, ship durability, which is actually pretty cool. That is something that we can make good use of as Portugal. We have an explorer, so yeah, basically, let's start here and we're going to try to explore California. We've just got the notification that we're able to embrace the printing press. What's the maximum diplomatic power we can have? A bit more than this, so we could always leave it a little bit. It's whether it's worth it, I suppose. Is it actually going to spread any further? Got 81, it's still not far though. Still not very good. If we had something in the 90s, I might hold off. But as it is, I think we're close enough here to getting a new technology that it's probably worth just embracing it. So we'll immediately claim Galias, which I think is better trade ships. Yes. So we should think about making more trade fleets and also replacing the ones we do have because that's that would definitely give us more money as well which is something we do need but that's brilliant we've now embraced the printing press so it's now we're instantly looking at global trade which doesn't exist yet half over we might get that in porto but i kind of doubt it i suppose we could i mean we are quite a big trader but yeah, I don't feel we in Lisboa because it's already been the birthplace of colonialism. But yes, the printing press, so it isn't, doesn't immediately appear in all of our provinces, but it starts appearing and I think it will accelerate. But in any case, we've embraced it now. We've got rid of our institution's tech penalty. So we can now start building technology full on. Not military, of course, because we're still working through our military ideas, and I'm hoping we can get away with going all out on that. I wouldn't always do that, because you need to keep this up with your rivals. But I think the only rival that really is in danger of overtaking us is Great Britain, and they are actually still on 13. Whereas I believe we are... Oh no, we're also on 13, so... It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right. So I suppose the only problem is whether we need a conquistador, whether the areas they want us to discover are in land. So I'm gonna search for a ship first. Hopefully that will fulfill the estate. Find an agreement, oh peace, great. Oh, it did. Fantastic. That is brilliant. That was remarkably easy to get. So that's now given us a boost to our colonialism as well. As in, a boost to our colonialism. It's fantastic. So yes, we've got a bunch of areas up here. So this is probably the next place we should go as soon as we get Florida well, the Florida equivalent to uh, 10 provinces. Probably can't afford to leave them to their own devices. We should help as much as we can. Just going to keep going up the coast and discover as much as we can here. And now we have a colony that's become self-sustaining again. So let's just uncover this and... Oh, we won a battle. Nice. We're going to send them back to the nearest port before they get damaged, because it's quite a way. So yeah, up this bit I think is Cascada. But yeah, what, what we in modern times would consider to be Alaska. So that is another potential colonial nation. 
worth getting if we can. Right, so where's the completed colony? It's not there. Is it the island? I believe it is. Brilliant. So let us not even think about it. Let's go straight to this equally uninhabited island. It should be a great place to move our troops and our ships to once it's finished. In fact, we don't entirely need to wait till this video. I suppose we'll need it for parking the ships. But there's nothing stopping those from doing some exploration and bringing the troops along. Uh, right, yes, and we also need to core that province. So this is now getting quite tricky. Santa Apollonia. Because we don't want to call any of the <laughs> provinces that will become colonial nations. Okay. Ship's getting damaged. Hopefully that will disappear and we will get the explorer is ready. see okay oh yeah it's not ready yet is it there we go so I'm gonna load the army on I'm actually gonna go straight over here this time so you want military access not a problem not a problem at all do we still not have a Yeah, I've still got a Regency Council. Amazing. I know by modern standards, 14 doesn't seem very old, but uh, there you go. Maybe it's 15. People were considered adults rather younger back then. So I'm hoping this colony is going to appear while we're out exploring, and then we can just head back here. It should give us a much better base for Eastwood's exploration. We'll have a look at the mission tree at some point as well. I'm just pretty sure that our next concern really is just getting the navy up to full. And I don't want to do that until I have built a bunch of manufactories now, I think. Although possibly I should make an exception for that for trade ships. Because trade ships are very valuable and we have been ignoring them. And that would help us gain the money to build a lot of buildings. Just exploring with a giant compass. Oh, not again. What is it with these blinking philosophers? not having it this time, this one we're getting imprisoned. I can't keep upsetting the Pope. Plus I quite like having high prestige and my stability is pretty good anyway. Maybe we should have a non-philosopher. Right, I don't think we can afford the plus three advisors still. It's 18. Hmm. Actually maybe we can. National tax modifier gives us more money. And again, yearly inflation reduction also gives us more money. Although our inflation at least isn't going up. Yeah, let's do ta national tax modifier. Because they'll also vastly increase our administrative power. And we could do with getting technologies in these two as quickly as possible. 
So that will help. Hopefully it won't plunge our earnings too far. I mean, at least the increase in national tax will help. And also, hopefully, our power is going to go through the roof as soon as our air comes of age. Which I'm guessing that now is going to be 15. Okay, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to head back here after all. 71 days. Thank goodness for that. Brilliant. It will be okay. I think if we just hold out for 71 days, we'll make it. Right, so yeah, we're gaining a massive boost in our power. Well, it looks like the area is just as good. So, I mean, to be honest, it's mostly just very slightly above average, because these could be 666 in theory, which would be the best option. So, yeah, I suppose 333 three is right in the middle. So, literally just one above average, two above average. I oh, know, they're two above average, they're just one. So, actually, the air's even better. Excellent, hope the air does well. Of all course, there's a good chance that the air will be really old by the time the king eventually dies. Incidentally, wow. <laughs> Precocious. Uh, maybe it's not actually sun. Who knows? Very good air, anyway. Oh. Not paying attention. Not that it was a problem. The army's taking a bit of damage there. But that should put us in a very good position for exploring even further eastwards. Oh, there's another island with no natives. Mind you, I think so is this one. Still terra incognita, but we don't have a lot to gain from getting those islands, apart from cutting our enemies off, which I don't think is enough reason. When we're talking about islands, might be the first time I've ever discovered Australia from the west instead of from the east. But we'll see. In any case, not to worry. So, right, I think probably just about time to stop. So, good progress I suppose. Embraced the printing press, did a lot of colonising. Admittedly not very eventful, but we did need to rebuild our manpower. We've still got quite a way to go before it's back up to full. Although, now we've got a king, I might actually look at starting a war over here, which doesn't require us to have manpower, because I think our colonial nations, if they're small enough, these countries, could probably handle it without us now. There are enough of them around. Um, colony, colony. This one. I see. Right, let's head up the coast. Not going to worry about the land for now. Let's take Chile. So I wouldn't mind getting within striking range of some of the other nations as well. But, it, I mean, we'll have a colonial nation before that happens anyway. I see we have pirates. I'm not going to do anything about them right now. I'm not too worried about the effect on our economy of that anyway. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was mostly just building colonies and exploring this time, so not tremendously eventful. But uh, all necessary, all making progress. And we're definitely homing in on this area, which I believe is what we actually need. Once we've done all this stuff, we've got a bunch of these. Push to India, settle Indonesia, onward to Cathay, secure trade. So if we're using this as a guide to how we're going to play, which often isn't a bad guide, certainly for your first time through, you notice we do need to build a treasury at possibly... Well, no, we got nowhere near, did we? Possibly should do that next, and then use the money to build manufactories. It's often how I do it. Manufactories are very expensive but they're extremely useful at this stage but we will go into that later but for now yeah i think we're gradually discovering the world 
fairly close to circumnavigating it. Okay, not that close, but within sight at least. And uh, might even be within striking range of Australia once this colony is finished. In which case, I might just get started on it immediately. Why not get a head start? Because I think this is as close as we can get to India anyway. I think we're going to be relying on a special event that gives us Goa, I think, or Gao. It's in there somewhere. But yeah, leave it there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.